Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about Lena Horne and her favorite beauty products. So Lena Horne was born on June 30th, 1917 and passed away on May 9th, 2010. She was an American singer, dancer, actress, and civil rights activist. Horne's career spanned over 70 years appearing in film, television, and theater. Horn joined the chorus of the Cotton Club at the age of 16 and became a nightclub performer before moving to Hollywood. Returning to her roots as a nightclub performer, Horn took part in the March in Washington in August 1963 and continued to work as a performer, both in nightclubs and on television while releasing well-received record albums. She announced her retirement in March 1980, but the next year starred in a one-woman show Lena Horn, The Lady and Her Music, which ran for more than 300 performances on Broadway. She then toured the country in the show, earning numerous awards and accolades. Horn continued recording and performing sporadically into the 1990s, disappearing from the public eye in 2000. Lena was long involved with the civil rights movement. She was at an NAACP rally with Medgar Evers in Jackson, Mississippi, the weekend before Evers was assassinated. She also met President John F. Kennedy at the White House two days before he was assassinated. She was at the March on Washington and spoke and performed on behalf of the NAACP and the SNCC. She also worked with Eleanor Roosevelt to pass anti-lynching laws stood next to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he delivered his I Have a Dream speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, and she always fought against prejudice in her own way. Lena Horne was an amazing singer and stunning on screen. Audiences loved her, but she was limited on the roles she could play. Being African American, she could only play lead roles in movies that were shown in black theaters. To be in a movie shown in white theaters, African American actors were allowed to only play servant roles, which she refused to do. So she opted to take small performance roles that could be cut from the film when shown in less accepting theaters. She was actually quite light-skinned, so when she did play lead roles next to dark-skinned men, the studio asked the makeup department to darken her skin tone. Max Factor was working for MGM at the time and developed a shade especially for her called Light Egyptian. Unfortunately, the makeup also hurt the progress of minority women in the film industry. It didn't take long for studios to start using the makeup to darken white women so they could play minority parts in all white casts. It was really difficult to find the exact beauty products that Lena wore. Um, however, I did find some information online. I found an old interview from, I think, the late 90s. And she claims that she doesn't see the need for having a lot of beauty products on your makeup counter and in your purse, and kind of opted out for a basic skincare routine. Also in my research, I found some really interesting things. So in the 1950s, she had her own cosmetic company called Lena Horn Cosmetics. And I found some old ads from the 50s and her certificate of her business online. And I wish I could have found some products, but I couldn't find anything on eBay. It would have been really cool to actually buy some of her vintage cosmetics to show you, but I couldn't find even photos. But I thought that was really neat that she had her own cosmetics company. Um, yeah, that was really interesting. And then I was looking at her estate online because it was at auction. And I found a few of her items that I thought were really beautiful. She had a really beautiful necklace set it came in blue and red and i thought it was just stunning i love the bright colors and it definitely almost has a contemporary look i could see how this could be worn today and i just thought they were absolutely stunning i love the two color combinations and she also had this beautiful long chiffon dress that was maxi length and it was empire waist and i thought it was absolutely stunning and the colors reminded me of the colors in the necklace she had really good taste and i saw some beautiful silver a vanity mirror and brush set that i thought was just stunning and then there's photos of her purse collection and she has some really cute 1950s purses even some 1940s ones that i thought were really pretty and they look similar to some of the purses in my purse collection and then i found another beautiful vanity set this one is kind of an yellow color and it looks like it's very art deco probably even from the 1930s it was a really beautiful design and i love all the lines on it i thought it was a really nice set there's also photos of her book collection 
Um, it looks like she has a Kristen Dior book as well as 20th Century Fashion and a Chanel book. So that was interesting kind of getting a look into her house and kind of see what products she used. And then I was looking at photos of her vanity and I saw way in the background it was a vintage bottle of Jergens face cream and so it was an all-purpose cleansing cream. And I only know this because I remember seeing old photos of the Jergens bottles and it looks similar to the one on her vanity so I don't doubt that she used this cleansing cream. And I also discovered a vintage bottle of Revlon and I have a vintage bottle of Revlon here. This one's Fatal Apple from the 1940s so she most certainly used Revlon cosmetics. And I think there's probably a good chance she did use Max Factor considering they designed a custom shade for her. Except I'm thinking that that shade actually made her skin darker. So I'm assuming she probably didn't want to actually use that shade because it would have made her skin darker than her skin tone. But at least when she was on stage and acting, perhaps she did use Max Factor. And it was also noted on a few forums online that she loved Guerlain perfumes. I don't know the exact scent, but I have a few vintage scents here. I have Jicky, I have La Hair Blue, to name a few. And I, these are all classic scents that a lot of old Hollywood movie stars use. So there is probably a very good chance that she used Guerlain. And also another vintage cosmetics brand for African American woman is Posner and they make foundation shades for darker skin tones and it's been around for a while now even I think possibly the 1940s and this is another brand that she most likely probably used and another cosmetics company this one has been around since the 1930s is Lucky Heart Cosmetics and it's been around since 1935 and it was founded in Memphis Tennessee and it's a beauty and cosmetics company for African Americans, which specialize in manufacturing hair and skin products specifically for African American clients in the Mid-South. And it's such an interesting history behind this company. Um, they have some really interesting products. I bought the Lemon Vanishing Cream, which is a really nice cream cleanser, and I love the lemon scent. They also have a Lemon Ice Toner, which is really good for applying in the daytime before applying makeup and it kind of makes your skin refreshed and removes the trace of grime and oil and it works perfectly for holding in moisture as well. And then they also have these facial cleansing bars and then their beauty bars and this one's called Bright and Clear. It's a complexion care formula bar and it's good for washing your face. And, and this one has also been around since the 1930s. And one of their classic fragrances is Touch of Fire, and this is a roll on a perfume, and this is their classic scent that they claim has been around since the 30s, and is one of their best sellers. It's a really nice fragrance. It's, it kind of has like a spicy oriental scent to it, but it's very exotic at the same time. I really like it. It's very fresh too, and it settles really nice, and you can also buy this at Lucky Heart Cosmetics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these cosmetics in the comments below. And I also linked everything featured in this video below. Alright, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!